Hi everyone welcome to my YouTube channel the battlefield of 2025 is no longer defined by tanks thundering across open plains or massive infantry charges, it is characterized by precision, stealth, and overwhelming technological superiority. Among the many cutting-edge weapons reshaping modern warfare, one system remains as quietly terrifying as ever, the Hellfire missile. Originally developed in the 1980s as an anti-tank missile, the Hellfire has evolved dramatically, and the 2025 version is now considered a cornerstone of the United States' surgical strike capability. Today, it stands as the go-to weapon for commanders seeking precision, low collateral strikes, delivered with deadly silence. The Hellfire missile, short for helicopter launched, fire and forget, was never just about brute force. It was about smart targeting, precision engagement, and the ability to eliminate high-value threats with pinpoint accuracy. The 2025 version has taken all these capabilities to new heights. With integrated AI targeting assistance, advanced stealth features, and a new multi-mode seeker, the Hellfire of today is not only smarter but also deadlier and more versatile than ever before. One of the most defining improvements in the 2025 Hellfire is its upgraded seeker head. Unlike earlier generations that relied primarily on laser guidance or semi-active radar, the newest Hellfire features a tri-mode seeker, laser, radar, and infrared. This allows the missile to adapt mid-flight to changing battlefield conditions. For instance, if a target becomes obscured by smoke or shifts positions rapidly, the missile recalibrates in real time to stay locked on. This adaptability makes it ideal not just against stationary ground vehicles, but also moving targets like fast attack boats, low-flying drones, and even enemy helicopters. Moreover, the new Hellfire features an integrated AI-assisted target recognition system. This neural network-based AI processes live data from the missile sensors and from battlefield drones, enabling the missile to distinguish between military and civilian targets. This massively reduces the risk of collateral damage, something of paramount importance in modern asymmetric warfare, especially in urban settings where combatants often blend with civilian populations. Aesthetically, the missile hasn't changed much, it remains compact and relatively lightweight, at around 100 pounds. But its internal systems have seen a complete transformation. The warhead itself now includes modular fusing systems. Depending on the mission, the warhead can be configured for blast fragmentation to neutralize personnel and light vehicles, a thermobaric charge for enclosed spaces like bunkers, or an armor-piercing design for heavily protected targets like tanks and fortified emplacements. This modularity means a single platform, like the MQ-9 Reaper drone or AH-64E Apache Guardian, can carry a versatile loadout ready to respond to multiple battlefield scenarios. The Hellfire 2025 also benefits from enhanced stealth features. It uses a minimized infrared signature and radar absorbent coatings that make it exceptionally difficult to detect and intercept. Unlike traditional cruise missiles, which can be detected early due to their size and heat emissions, the Hellfire flies low, fast, and quiet, living up to its nickname as the Silent Killer. Once launched, enemy forces often have no idea they've been targeted until it's too late. From a platform integration perspective, the Hellfire 2025 is now standard on a wider array of military systems. While it remains a primary weapon for rotary wing platforms like the Apache helicopter, it is now also standard on UAVs, ground vehicles, and even some naval platforms like the literal combat ship. This cross-platform integration means that commanders have more flexibility than ever before in how and when to deploy the missile. A Hellfire strike can come from the sky, land, or sea, at any moment. In terms of range, the 2025 Hellfire has seen a significant increase. Earlier versions topped out at around 8 kilometers. The latest variant now exceeds 12 kilometers, with some experimental models nearing 15 kilometers depending on launch altitude and platform speed. This expanded range allows pilots and drone operators to strike from beyond the reach of most enemy anti-air systems, significantly improving survivability while maintaining lethal effectiveness. Perhaps the most talked about feature of the 2025 Hellfire is its seamless integration into the US military's broader network-centric warfare approach. Every missile launch is now part of a synchronized data web involving satellites, drones, AWACS aircraft, and forward operators. When a high-value target is identified, say, a terror leader in a remote compound, the kill chain is shortened dramatically. Within minutes, 
A drone can acquire and verify the target, receive confirmation, and launch a hellfire, all while commanders monitor and adjust in real time. This tight integration ensures faster, more accurate strikes and also significantly reduces the window of opportunity for the target to escape. This capability was recently demonstrated in a high-profile operation in North Africa, where a Hellfire missile launched from a drone eliminated a regional militant commander while he was traveling in a convoy through a remote desert. The strike was so precise that only the target vehicle was destroyed, with no damage to surrounding civilian infrastructure. That kind of precision wasn't possible 20 years ago, but it's standard today, and it's changing the nature of counter-terror and counter-insurgency operations. Additionally, cost remains a critical consideration in modern warfare, and here too, the Hellfire continues to shine. At an average cost of $150,000 per unit in 2025, the Hellfire is considered relatively affordable compared to more complex systems like cruise missiles or even certain glide bombs. This affordability allows for a broader deployment without straining budgets, especially critical when engaging in prolonged operations or maintaining a persistent strike capability in contested regions. Internationally, the missile continues to attract buyers. U.S. allies from NATO members to Asian Pacific partners now rely on the Hellfire for both defensive and offensive operations. Countries like Japan, Australia, and Poland have integrated the missile into their UAV and helicopter forces. Its reliability and battle-proven record make it a favorite among military planners, especially in regions with increasing threats from insurgent groups or hostile neighbors. Despite its many advantages, the Hellfire isn't without critics. Some argue that the widespread use of such precision weapons risks, normalizing, warfare, making strikes seem like bloodless events conducted from afar. Human rights groups have raised concerns about the ethics of drone-based warfare, where decisions to eliminate targets may be made quickly, sometimes based on incomplete intelligence.